Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in San Diego. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Thursday, June 27th. Coming up on today's show, we'll get into the surf report and the weather outlook. Then we'll jump into some local news and a few interesting happenings in business, science, and entertainment. Today is National Bingo Day. Bingo, which originated in Italy, is descended from the Italian National Lottery, played since 1530. It was then popularized by New York toy salesman, Edwin Lowe, who discovered the game at a fair in Jacksonville, Georgia, in 1929. Lowe recreated the game for friends, naming it Bino, until one day a friend excitedly shouted Bingo. A similar version, Housey Housey, was also played in the UK. The National Bingo game, using 90 numbers, links between 120 and 180 clubs. Over 3 million people in the UK play bingo regularly. So now you know. And now you know what time it is. It's time for the surf report. Expect side a waist-high wind swell and need a waist-high southwest round swell this weekend. Mornings will be semi-glassy and calm with variable wind under five miles per hour. Afternoons will become choppy with onshore wind increasing to 15 miles per hour. Overall, anticipate playful waves with variable wind conditions throughout the weekend. Thursday at Tourmaline and South San Diego. It's looking fair to choppy throughout the day at two plus feet. Early morning and sunset is your best bet for good waves with fair conditions. Best time to ride is at 6 a.m. with a one and a half foot outgoing tide when the southwest swell is one and a half feet at 15 seconds and the onshore wind is four mile per hour. The first low tide Thursday will be zero foot foot at 8.15 a.m. with a five foot foot high tide at 15.15. This morning, it's mostly cloudy and feels like 68 degrees with four mile per hour wind. The sunset will take place at eight and it will rise again tomorrow at 5.43. It looks like we're in for some patchy fog before 11 a.m. Otherwise, mostly cloudy, then gradually becoming sunny with a high near 74 and southwest wind of five to 10 mile per hour. Tonight, it'll be mostly cloudy with a low around 63. Looking ahead in the weather, Friday will be partly sunny with a high near 74 and southwest wind five to 10 mile per hour after morning fog clears. And this weekend, it will be mostly sunny with highs in the mid seventies after morning fog clears. Monday will be partly sunny with a high near 78 with the potential for more morning fog. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from eight to five. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them Sunny Morning sent you. In local news, Sprinter Corridor and 10th Avenue Marine Terminal in San Diego County have received over $15 million in federal grants. These funds are part of $1.8 billion in awards from the Rebuilding American Infrastructure with Sustainability and Equity grant program. The Sprinter Corridor project between San Marcos and Escondido received over $10 million. Meanwhile, the 10th Avenue Marine Terminal Redevelopment Plan was awarded $5 million. These projects aim to improve local infrastructure, safety, and efficiency, benefiting the regional economy and reducing pollution. (music) 
now on to sports. NBC has convinced legendary broadcaster Al Michaels to embrace an artificial intelligence version of his voice for Olympics coverage. This AI voice will narrate daily recaps of the summer event on Peacock. Initially skeptical, Michaels was astonished by the technology, noting it was almost perfect. Known for his iconic calls in sports history, from Super Bowls to the 1980 Olympics, Michael's voice is both his livelihood and legacy. NBC trained the AI on his past appearances, ensuring it captures his unique delivery and intonations. Michael sees this as a way to stay connected to the Olympic Games. In local sports, the Padres at home beat the Nationals 8 to 5. And tonight, no Padres game as they are headed to Boston for a three game series with the Red Sox. Game one is Friday night with Vasquez facing Pivetta. In top news, Crescent Regional Hospital in Lancaster, Texas, has become the first in the United States to use holograms for doctor patient visits. The hospital has installed a Holobox, a three dimensional system created by Dutch company HoloConnect. This system projects a life-sized hologram of a doctor, allowing real-time consultations with patients, even those 30 miles away. According to HoloConnects, the display is 86 inches tall and only requires electricity and internet. The box features anti-glare glass, a transparent LCD screen, high-fidelity speakers, and a multi-touch operating system, enhancing the overall experience. In business news, Amazon plans to introduce a discount section on its site, featuring cheap items shipped directly from warehouses in China. According to the information, this move targets the growing popularity of bargain sites like Timu and Shine. The new marketplace will offer unbranded fashion, home goods, and daily necessities, with delivery times between 9 and 11 days. Sellers can set their own product selection and pricing, producing in small batches to test demand. An Amazon spokesperson stated, we are always exploring new ways to work with our selling partners to delight our customers with more selection, lower prices, and greater convenience. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is just under $61,000. Ethereum is nearing 3,300. And Solana, is $137. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the San Diego area. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension and elevating mental well-being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Encinitas, Solana Beach, Oceanside, La Jolla, and more. Just be sure to tell them Sunny Morning sent you by. And now back to the show. Let's talk science. Boeing's Starliner spacecraft on its first crewed flight has left two NASA astronauts, Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams, in limbo on the International Space Station. Initially an eight-day mission, the astronauts launched on June 5th, but are now expected to return in July due to technical glitches. Despite issues like helium leaks and thruster failures, NASA assures that Starliner can safely return in an emergency. The spacecraft is certified to dock for 45 days, but various systems might extend its stay up to 72 days. NASA is closely monitoring the situation, prioritizing safety and mission management. And in entertainment news, Bruce Springsteen's Born in the USA is celebrating its 40th anniversary, and it's back on the charts. The Boss and the E Street Band are scheduled to perform at Citizens Bank Park in August. 
Despite a brief break due to vocal issues, they have been touring Europe. Springsteen will make up for rescheduled shows in South Philadelphia on August 21st and 23rd. His album has re-entered the UK chart at number 56, and sales are also up in the United States. The European tour wraps up at Wembley Stadium on July 27th. Well, all righty, folks. It's time for the quote of the day. And today, our quote comes from the boss, Bruce Springsteen. And he said, Work creates an enormous sense of self, and I saw that in my mother. She was an enormous, towering figure to me in the best possible way. I picked up a lot of things from her in the way that I work. And that's a wrap for this morning. You can check out our Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok for some captivating aerial videos with local news and the surf reports. Have an amazing day, my good friends. We'll see you tomorrow with another episode of Sunny Mornings in San Diego.